Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns, and it's a snowy day here in Pennsylvania. It's supposed to get, you know, blizzard-like conditions, possibly with the wind blowing up to 45 miles an hour. And there's lots of snow coming down, and then it's supposed to turn to rain, then ice, because temperature's going to dip way down. I think it's in the four, like four for Christmas Day is project, pro projected predicted who knows you know the weatherman don't know it doesn't always get it right however I thought I would answer a few questions today and then I will give you a short rundown of my 2023 intentions I have had a couple of people have asked me why I always say my name at the beginning of my videos it's a pet peeve of mine to go to a channel and to watch a video and the entire video I don't know that person's name I go down and I'll look in the description box and there's no name they don't have their name listed anywhere it's a pet peeve I like to know people's names okay um, so that's why I do it I know that most of you know me um, there's an off chance there might be someone who's new to this channel who's never seen it and doesn't know who I am or anything about me so I figured the least I could do to welcome them as a friend of the channel is to introduce myself to them so that's why I do that okay all right for the 2023 intentions I don't know if I've told you this story before or not but when my Nana passed away, um, my aunt and my cousin took all of the quilt tops and things that she was making. And my cousin has had them in her home for many years. Um, let's just put it that way, many years. And she had seen a couple of the quilts that I had done for charity, posting them, you know, that kind of thing. And this was before Thomas had gotten uh, diagnosed with the cancer. So she, you know, contacted me and said, you know, I'm going to send you these quilt tops. You know, I don't quilt. I'm not ever going to get them quilted. So, uh, you know, so she sent them. And it came in this huge box. Thomas carried it in. He's like, good Lord, that weighs a ton. Well, it's fabric. It's a huge box. So I go to open the box, and I can't get the box open. I'm yanking, and I'm pulling, and I'm like, what is going on? I've already pulled all the tape off, and I'm trying to get the box open, and it won't open. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and I messaged my cousin. I said, what is this box put together with? I can't get it open. So then we do this little video thing and come to find out her husband is enamored with Gorilla Glue. And he was afraid the box would come apart in shipping. So he Gorilla Glued the box together. We had to take a saw to it to get it open. So, uh, yeah. But anyway, I have all of her quilt tops. And so my cousin and I were discussing what, you know, I gave her some ideas of what I wanted to do with those quilt tops. Um, I double-checked to make sure there was no dry rot, that kind of thing. Perfectly fine. Um, she stored them very well. So, um, kudos to you, Jerry Lynn. And, uh, yeah. I, Thomas and I had started talking, and I was talking with Jerry Lynn, and I told her, well, you know, I really would like to quilt these for charity. And then put a label on them, something to the effect of, uh, with love, Nana's quilts. I've since changed that to, may God bless you and keep you warm, like this quilt as you wrap his arms around you. Something like that. With love, Nana's quilts. But I had never gotten to getting those quilt tops put together started getting quilted just because all of a sudden here Thomas was sick 
And you know, well, I think I think I was still making masks. At that time, I was making about 150 masks a day. They were going out all over the United States to different heart institutes, different hospitals, different facilities, to um, some of the children's schools, those kind of things. So I never did get back to the quilts. And then, of course, you know, Thomas got sick, that kind of thing. So one of my intentions for 2023 is to start working on those quilts um, to send them uh, to different organizations like cancer centers, um, hospices, and um, Sleep in Heavenly Peace Project. If you don't know what Sleep in Heavenly Peace Project is, um, it, it originally started with volunteers who came together with some of these children that were undergoing cancer treatment, but they didn't have beds. So, it originally started that they would make the beds, and then volunteers, those kind of things, would make the bedding, or, you know, go out and purchase and donate, those kind of things. So, I would like to take some of those quilt tops, because some of them meet the qualifications for that, um, so that I can give those to Sleep in Heavenly Peace. Now, Sleep in Heavenly Peace... Organizations also take a lot of uh, crocheted knitted blankets, afghans, but they do need to meet, um, I believe the measurements are 60 by 90. There is a smaller size that you can make, so, um, but it's just something that I wanted to do with Nana's quilts, so I'm working on getting that started in between packing up getting rid of things that I don't need, you know, that kind of stuff, and sorting through fabrics. Some of the fabrics that I have, and you guys cannot even see the amount of fabric I have. I'll be honest. It's a ton. Um, some of those will go for backings for these quilts. Um, I'm the type of person, I don't think you have to have just one set backing. Um, I think you can piece backings together, too. Um, just as an interest so that you could flip it either side for the quilt. Uh, so, um, yeah, some of that fabric is going to go for that. Because, you know, there was that one time I bought that beautiful green print that I absolutely loved. I bought it not once, not twice, not three times, but four times, separate times, at two and a half yards each. So, yeah. I have a bit of that fabric. <laughs> I mean, that, that became a joke between me and Thomas when I was sorting. When I said, you know, I bought this how many times? He goes, yeah, but it's beautiful. So, <laughs> he understood completely. And I did make a quilt for him with some of that backing because he loved it so much. So, um, those are some of the intentions I have. Um, as well as getting the So Scraptastic channel up and running again. Um, I'm going to start with a few simple tutorials for some simple things. And so that is what my my intentions are for this year um, so far, as well as to declutter a lot of the things that are uh, kind of driving me nuts this year. Um, so yeah, that is basically it. So I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this short little video, and I will see you again soon. Oh, one other thing I've chosen to do, because, quite frankly, I enjoy coloring as well. Each day, I do plan on starting the day with daily devotion, and this is the Illustrated Words of Jesus for Women, and it is a daily devotional. There are 366 days of calming coloring and meaningful meditation on the words of Jesus. So I thought I would show you one of the pages in there. And um, they're just very nice. Um, each year I have kind of chosen a word um, to represent the, the year. And last year's um, the thing that got me through was Joshua 1-9. 
and um, basically to sum it down two words well a couple of words be courageous because that's what God asks us to do in sharing his word the other was that that verse is all about God standing by you no matter what kind of storm you go through so that was my word for last year this year my word is going to be blessed so there you have it all right guys i will see you again soon and remember be kind to one another love one another love yourself be kind to yourself sometimes we are the hardest on ourselves and as always get out there and see this big beautiful world and yeah i'm gonna go for a walk in the snow a little bit later so i'll see you again soon bye